Hi guys, Archie Luxury, and who do I recommend in America? In America, who do I recommend for quality pre-owned wristwatches? David SW, David SW, David SW. Go to davidsw.com. He is the best, the greatest pre-owned dealer in all of the United States of America. David SW, David SW, David SW. <laughs> Hey guys, Archie Luxury on the Archie Luxury channel. Today I want to discuss what what is the most memorable experience in your life? What's the most memorable, the greatest things that have happened to you? And I got to be totally honest with you. Um Let's exclude wives, children, uh, because, you know, obviously having a, a son or a daughter or getting married is a, is a great experience, but I, I want to take it to a next realm, and I, I want to look at what are the most memorable, what's the most memorable experiences in your life, and that's a very interesting thing. It's very interesting. Um, what things have made you you happy? And you know what? It's funny. It's funny. It's funny. I'm quite content in who I am as an individual. Um, I've had a bit of luck thrown my way. I've had some good things happen. Um, I have been a little bit naughty at times. I, I will confess I have been a little bit naughty. Uh, but I've had some luck investing. I've had in luck with my wife, wives. Uh, and, but, you know, looking back on my deathbed, what? are some of the really, really memorable experiences. And um, I, I think, you know, ignoring family and children, because it's not that we want to discount them, it's just that I think for this, we want to look at when we start thinking of family and children, it comes with some baggage. So... Other experiences are just pure off the cuff. So what's the best things that have happened to me? i got to tell you what's some of the great things. I'd, I'd say out of all the things that have happened, probably, probably the best experience. <clears throat> okay. So, so, so years ago, I used to see this lady. She, she had a rub and tug business, and you know, I really liked her. She was half Singaporean, half Japanese. Fantastic assets, and I, I always liked her. You know, I always liked her, and I saw her for a number of years. A number of years. And I used to always get her a Christmas present. It was nothing super expensive. A, a little bottle of perfume, a Christmas card, you know, just something like that. And anyhow, she eventually, she, she used to have, she had a little studio apartment in Fortitude Valley in Chinatown where she used to run her little business. And she decided she sold up and she moved up north. Okay, so, so, um, <clears throat> and I sent her a few Christmas greetings, you know, Christmas Day, Merry Christmas or Happy New Year. <clears throat> and then just out of the blue, many, many years later, she rang me and um, <clears throat> she said, hey, 
I'm coming to the coast. I'd love to see you. And I remember, I said, oh, that's fantastic. I got a little present for you. I went out and got her a, I think it was a Gucci or I can't remember what brand it was, but a, a sort of a, a perfume and I wrote her a card and I remember I bought a bottle of wine. <clears throat> I remember I went to see her. The traffic was terrible. I, I went to see her and I knocked on the door of her apartment because she was staying at a an apartment block at the coast and she's wearing a sexy nighty on. I go in, give her a hug and she says, do you want to have a... Do you want to have a lie down now, a cuddle, or do you want to go to dinner first? I said, oh, and I, I, sh I should have said, let's, I should have really gone. But I said, look, let's do it. Let's, let's, I'll have a cuddle after dinner. No problems, no problems. So we went to dinner. We had, it, was, it was pretty good because I, I knew there was action afterwards. Had dinner, had a nice time, had some wine, <coughs> went back, had a great session. It was so surreal, it was so surreal. And I really wanted to stay the night, but she said, oh, no, no, you go back home. And I remember driving home and I, I remember thinking, am I dreaming or is this a fantasy? And I pulled it, I said, you know what? I'm gonna pull into the next petrol station. If this is a dream, they'll have coffee flavored donuts. If it's not a dream, they'll only have strawberry donuts all glazed. I pulled in, it was a BP, and they had a Krispy Kremes. Sure enough, no coffee donuts, only strawberry, and I got glazed, I got too glazed. So I thought I had to do this because otherwise, how do I know this was a dream, a fantasy, or was it real? And it was just an amazing experience. That was a really top knot. So she gave me a freebie. Really nice. And, you know, I wanted to keep a relationship going with her, but I don't think she really wanted that. She just wanted to have a good memory with me. I tried to stay in touch, but, you know, she kind of just will, will, witted out and I kind of just let it be. Sometimes in life, I think you got to just leave it be, leave it be. So that was an amazing experience. Another great thing is I've met some amazing, amazing people. This genre, Archie Luxury itself, I've managed to meet a billionaire. I've met several people worth hundreds of hundred million dollars plus. I've met some really interesting characters, really, really interesting characters. And one of the guys I remember, I think he was worth, he thought he was poor, two to three hundred million US sing. And had he had his own private harem. The girls came in, which one do you want? Just amazing. Amazing, amazing. Uh, very <coughs> kind guy. Um, yeah, that was amazing, amazing, amazing. I've never, you've seen that movie, Crazy Rich Asians. You ain't seen nothing, okay? That's PG. You wait till you see the R ah version, the X version. My God, my God. Uh, so that, that was a great experience. Uh, other great experience, I met some really good people. I've met some really good, um, I met some really interesting people. I've, I mean, the YouTube's not making a fortune, but it, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay had some, I've had experiences that I never thought would be possible. I met Terry Stern, Terry Stern, yes, I met him. He was out the front of this Singapore Hilton. 
in Orchard Road. Yes, I met him. That was amazing. I only had, a, you know, literally a minute or two with him. But that was, you know, for me, I don't want to meet. I don't want to meet George Clooney. I don't want to meet Leonardo DiCaprio. I don't want to meet Fonzie. Maybe Fonzie. Maybe Fonzie. Fonzie. To me, who do you want to meet? Well, Rolex is a corporation. It's a charitable trust. So not really a public somebody you'd even know. JLC, nah. Omega, that's again that Swatch big conglomerate. You want to meet the head of Paddock because I'm a Paddock and Pussy man. That's what you'd want to meet. And that's that's pretty damn amazing. That was an amazing experience. It was a nice guy, nice guy. I'll tell you another thing that was really amazing. This was when I was attractive, skinny. Um, this was when I was early 30s, early 30s. And I was doing a bit of blue velvet work, a bit of private escort work. And I remember I had this this Japanese lady who'd, who'd paid, <clears throat> she'd paid for a weekend and she wasn't that well off. Very smart woman, IQ of 150. Very smart woman, but she'd kind of done a few stupid things and that there. Anyhow, she, she, she wanted, anyhow, she, she, she's nice, she was nice. And then I remember you know, she had the bare minimum services because it was expensive. It's expensive. Once the agency takes its cut and I get, you know, pittance for me, it's, it's, it's expensive. And I remember she woke, I never forget this, she woke me up at 3.30 in the morning. <clears throat> and she said, Archie, can I suck you? And I thought, gee, that's just so cool. That's just so cool. That is so cool, man. That is so cool. That is pretty damn cool. Doesn't matter. She, she was the wrong side of 50. Okay, actually, she's early 60s. She lied on the form. They always do. They lie on the form. But it's just, just pretty cool. It was, pretty, it was cool. I thought that was still a cool thing. And normally I don't do services like that unless they pay, you know, big money. But she was just so cool about it. How could you disappoint? How could you disappoint? How could you? How could you? How could you? And enthusiasm makes up, I'll tell you what, enthusiasm makes up for age and lack of beauty. Let me just say that to you now. It's, uh, yeah, that, that, those were some good experiences. I, I had some great, great, great times. Great times. And yeah, they were really, really cool. Really, really cool. Really, really interesting experiences. Mmm! Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Interesting times. Mm. You know, I, I remember <coughs> years ago, years and years ago, ladies had paid for me to go to top five, six-star hotels. That's amazing. I'll never forget that. On my deathbed, I'll relive that. That experience. Take me to seafood buffets. Endless seafood buffets. My God. I don't think I could eat that much seafood now. The indigestion would kill me. Those were the days, my friend. We thought they would never end. Those were amazing experiences. Paid for me to go to six-star hotels. Endless buffet. Ah, my God. And all I had to do was carry their Birkin behind and walk behind them. <laughs> Why do I care about face or pride? You know? Why do I care? I, I like the dessert in the bedroom. 
And I, I'm not a prude. Interesting experiences. Mm-hmm. Very interesting. And I haven't even mentioned my fans who took me out in a Diablo, a Gallardo, a Ferrari F8 Tributo, E-Type Jack, oh, E-Type? No, no. Mark II, VXJ12, Mercedes SL. I haven't even mentioned that yet. I'm Archie Luxury. Tell me what you guys think of that. Hey guys, check out my one of my best friends, Jamie Opulence on YouTube. Just go to Jamie Opulence on YouTube. A fantastic travel, a fantastic channel from my good friend, Jamie. Check it out, guys. Hey guys, Archie Luxury. We're gearing up to Christmas and I want to tell you about Archie Luxury advertising packages. Advertising packages. So, guys, let me give you the drum. Let me give you the squirt. Let me tell you the story. So, what have we got here for you? We got some really good packages. What have we got? Advertising packages. Do you want a 15 second insert? 15 second insert into every Archie Luxury video and Paul Pluto channel video. 15 second insert into each video. $200 for a month. $200 for a month. If you want a rolling script, every video for a month, $100 for the month. You'll get your rolling script into each video I produce. Frid space. Frid space is pretty full at the moment. I will be advising when I'm taking more fridge advertisers. Let me know if there's any Christmas deal I can do for you. I'm Archie Luxury. Advertise and become a winner winner. Yeah.